Welcome hockey fans inside Coop Norbotten Arena as we get set for tonight's matchup featuring Lulio and Barinas. Yeah, absolutely, that's a good point because obviously Lulio comes into this one, finished seventh overall, quite a few points ahead of Barinas. So like you said, might take a bit of pressure off Barinas with less expectations. But we are underway now as Selen tries to play this one into the corner, gets wrapped around the boards, and he'll play it up to his own half boards. Now up to the blue line, just poked away from him, but he'll force this one into the offensive zone. The young Niels Lundqvist able to collect. He'll retreat behind his own net. Sends this one to the corner. Selen now controlling along the half boards, trying to force this up to the blue line. However, it's taken back and sent in deep by Jesper Jensen. And now Lulio stuck in their, deep in their own end as Lundqvist will control in his own zone. Slowly up the ice, he'll drop for Galvanti. Galvanti now behind his own net, waiting for some help here as Lulio gets a change going. Galvanti. Playing this one up along the left side through the neutral ice. He'll gain center, fires this one in deep to the opposite corner. Hustling in, he's able to collect along the half boards. Trying to play it down low, not able to, however, as it finds its way all the way back into the Luleo end. Brendan Mickelson playing this one to his defensive partner. will throw it up the boards to the far blue line. And now into the offensive zone. He gets taken down hard. No call on the play. Jacob Bloomquist now playing this one back up to the line. Sondell able to hold it in. He'll play this one down to the corner. Now to the top of the circle. Poked away, however, as Larson takes out his man hard against the boards. And it's moved back to center. But taken back by Lulio as they control in their own zone. Brendan, hey, good start for Brinas out here. So yeah, absolutely. As Brendan Mickelson controls from behind his own net. He'll play this one up to the half boards. Played off the boards, looking for the man at center, but it's intercepted and moved back the other way as Brinas will send this one in deep. Oscar Engson from the corner. As Lulio try to move it back the other way now, it's Robin Kovacs collecting. So he'll fire this one up the ice, off the body, deep into the Brinas zone. Centering out front, that one finds its way on target, but able to make the left pad save on that one. Back to the line, held in by Engson as he gloves that one down and sends it in deep. From behind the net, all the way around the boards to Jesper Boakvist. Taken back now by Andreas Falk as he'll throw it up to center. Robin Kovacs just out of his reach, so this will be an icing call going against Lulio. As Lulio controlling the puck for the majority of the first couple of minutes, but like you said, Brinas doing a good job, really not allowing them to uh, get anything going in the offensive zone. Yeah, well, one thing Brinas is going to want to do here is test uh, Philip Gustafsson. The Lulio going with Gustafsson tonight, the young goalie, 19 years old, and, and they're going to want to get some pucks on him early to see if he's... If he's got the playoff nerves of steel, that's a big shot there. And there's a nice left pad save to start, as I believe that's our first shot of the game. Great start for Gustaf in there, getting a, the puck on his pads, getting himself comfortable in the game. Christopher Lilliwal will play this one down low. Engson able to come away with it, he'll send it to the corner, and now with time and space, he'll look to start out as he works this one back the other way. Into the offensive zone, that one is played in deep by Johan Forsberg around the boards and all the way back to the far blue line as Brinas will work it back the other direction. Falk playing this one to Anderson. Anderson getting it back in his own corner now as Lulio struggling to get out of their own zone at the moment. Anderson controlling, he'll play this one up to Patrick, Patrick Sellen. Sellen through the neutralize into the offensive zone, trying to dance around his man. He'll play it in deep along the end boards, throws a check against Kilstrom there. Frees up the puck right up front. Haru with the sharp angle attempt right on, but Raudio able to make the left shoulder save there. That's a big start for Raudio as well. He needs to get his confidence up as well. He's had a couple of tough games here coming down the stretch. Raudio backhanding this one to his captain. Nunquist playing it behind the net now. Elias Fulth out of his own zone through the neutral ice into the offensive zone now. And play this one in deep. Taken away from him, however, as Lulio will work it back the other way. Cross ice pass off the boards. Able to catch up with it at the top of the circle. Tried to center out front, but he's forced to the half boards now. Larson has that one taken away from him as Brinas will work it back the other way. Into the offensive zone is Bloomquist as he'll take a check along the boards, but is able to play this one in deep. Larson along the boards also takes a check. Sjallin is there to help him out. Larson's able to come away with it. Emil Larson now playing this one to the middle of the ice. As Ingsen tries to throw it up back up to him. However, that's going to be an offside as Einar Emanuelsen just a step ahead of the play. So we'll have a face off in the neutral ice. Slow start here. Both teams feeling each other out here. The playoffs, a different brand of hockey. You see there a nice save by Raudio. Hugged his post really well there. Didn't give much space. But we were also talking off the broadcast, especially with a three game series. All games are so important. And you know, that might be why, like you said, uh, a bit of a slow start. Neither team really taking any risks at the moment. 
know, I, I think it's like that for the first few minutes here. And, and yeah, we'll see a couple of chances early on. We'll open things up. But I think both teams want to see exactly what formats and what systems the other the opposition is going to give so they can adjust accordingly. Robin Kovacs throwing this one cross ice. And now Lundqvist has that one just out of his reach as it's played in the air back into the Lulio end. Lundqvist gets it back at center. Quick turnaround pass into the offensive zone. He'll stop up along the blue line. Now throws this in deep. Forsberg along the end boards. Gets some help now from Fabricius. Back to the line now. Sundell controlling. He'll pinch down to the half boards. Now throws it back to the line to Falk. Falk cross ice pass. Back to Falk. Winds up for the one timer. Wide of the net. Big rebound off the end boards. Mickelson pinching down low. Centering out front. Can't get a shot away, however, as this one finds its way back to the line, but not out as Lulio pressuring here. Sondell looking for the backdoor pass, bounces away from his intended target to the corner, and able to collect now is Ryan Gunderson, as he'll play it to Bertilson. And back to Gunderson now. Gunderson slowly up the ice, will play this one up along the right side. Long shoot in right onto Gustafson, easily able to angle that one aside. Taken back by Lulio in their own zone, but a good forecheck here frees up the puck for Barinas as this one finds its way back to the line. That one hits a body out front, doesn't find its way on target. All the way back into the Barinas zone. Lucas Kilstrom controlling in his own corner. We'll send this one behind the net to his defensive partner who rings it around the boards up to the blue line. Now Jesper Jensen leaves the puck behind, but gets it back. We'll play this one in deep. Niels Lundqvist now from the corner. Leaving there for Yolvanti, who throws this one to the opposite corner. Oscar Inkson. Rather Isaac Lundestrom. Back to the line. Just able to hold it in. Now a good play from the high slot. Fakes the shot. Tries to take it now, but it hits a body and deflects to the corner. Lundestrom now. Win this one to the side of his own net as the Alvanti will work it back through the neutral ice. From center, he'll fire this one in. Einer Emanuelson able to control. As he sends that one cross ice. Lulio still controlling in the offensive zone. Emil Larson has that one poked away from him all the way back to his own blue line. Sondell controlling in the neutral ice. He'll fire this one up to the blue line. Into the offensive zone now. Backdoor, or rather turnaround pass, doesn't find its intended target. And this one is played all the way down the ice. Icing is waved off as Lundestrom able to control in his own corner. Plays it to Sondell behind the net. Plays this up to Peter Emanuelson. Lifted high in the air, however, not out as Yusuf Aikinen with the sharp angle attempt. That one hits a body, deflects behind the net. Brendan Mickelson now controlling in the corner. We'll send this one up to Kovacs. Now Rebrin is doing a good job here, keeping this puck in the offensive zone. Sondell now controlling in the corner, plays this up to the half boards. Bit of time here as he'll try to work it back the other way, but the aggressive forecheck for Brinas continues, and now it's forced out to neutral ice. However, they are right back in as he'll take a check along the boards and now pins that puck along the boards as Emanuelson's able to come away with it. He'll play it to Mickelson, who throws it behind the net to his defensive partner. That's going to be interesting here to see who steps up for Brinis with Polishai out to take a little bit of the offensive load. They're, they're dominating the forecheck, but not a lot of quality scoring chances coming so far. Absolutely. That's a very good point. But, yeah, and like you said uh, in the pregame as well, it's a bit of a gap in their offense. So somebody definitely will have to step up to try and fill that gap if they, if they hope to come away with a win here tonight. Now Lulio back the other way. Forsberg just in his skates as this one is poked to the corner. Forsberg playing this behind the net to Falk. Centering pass doesn't find anyone as Brinas will work it back the other way. They've got numbers through center ice into the offensive zone. And this one is just going to be whistled dead on the offside. And those are the kind of plays that really hurt you, especially in Brinas' situation where you really don't want to make those kind of mistakes. There's no reason really to take an offside there. No, no, it didn't really gain anything by being a step or two offside there. Uh, absolutely not. They had the numbers coming back the other way. And in, in, a, in a series like this, every little goal is going to count here. 12.04 remaining in the first period, scoreless tie. As Brina is able to win this one back, Kilstrom controlling will send it to his defensive partner, who throws it back to him now. Kilstrom just out of the reach, however, of Elias Falth. St Falth from behind his own net looks to start out. Pestered there is able to move this one out to neutral ice. Nice little pass back to Haru as he'll fire this one in deep all the way around the boards. Oh, Lawson, the captain, back to the line to Lundqvist. Lundqvist though, with the long shot, sacrificing the body out front. He was able to get in front of it. Take that shooting attempt, attempt away. 
Speaking of guys who could make a difference, here's Adam Bolkvist, projected to be a top five pick in the NHL draft next year. And, and Brinus will be hoping that he can add a little bit of offensive flair from the back end tonight for sure. Absolutely. Always love to get some offense from some of your defensemen, especially in a, in a playoff situation. As Lulio will work it back the other way now into the offensive zone. Lundestrom draw pass to the circle, however, taken back by Jensen, or rather Bloomquist. Bloomquist from center will fire this one in deep. Collected along the inboards now by Linus Oland as he'll play it to the corner to Boquist. Boquist looking for the man in the slot, but it bounces over a stick all the way back into the Brina zone. Rowdio leaves there for Gunderson. who will send this one up the ice. Oland has that one taken away from him as Gunderson retreats to collect and now plays it to his defensive partner. He plays this up the ice to Boquist. To the line, but not out. Good hold at the line there by Gunderson. Oscar Engson able to free that puck up for Pontus Jolin, who cuts behind his own net. We'll play it back to Engson. Emanuelson. Back to Sjallin. Sjallin from center will play this one in deep. And this is going to be an icing call just, just on the wrong side of center there before he sent it in. Well, Breen is hard on the forecheck here. I think that's going to be their strategy going forward. Get the puck in there deep and just pound away. Hope to break down the Luvio defense over time. And it's working so far. They've had the majority of the play in the Luvio zone. Not a lot of high-quality scoring chances, but you don't need many in playoff hockey. And neither of these teams in the regular season were... Extremely offensively gifted. Brent Brinus had a 2.54 goals for per game average, which was ninth overall in the SHL. Luleo had just 2.46 goals per game average, which is 11th overall. So it'll be interesting to see if either of them break that theme here in the playoffs. And a rebound right out front is banged home. And Brinus take the 1 nothing lead. It's Kevin Clark on the doorstep collecting the rebound after the initial bl uh, blue line shot. And you know what? I think that's exactly the way Brinus needed to start. Now the Winnipeg native, Kevin Clark, he's one of the guys who definitely has a potential to step up for Bullershy, and here it is. They just get the puck on net, good things happen. I mean, a, a rebound off the pad of Gustafsson, and right there on the doorstep is Kevin Clark. Nobody on him, bearing home the open shot. It didn't look like the initial shot actually got on target. It looked like it came off a stick right to Clark. Just Johnny on the spot, right time, right place. Well, that's exactly what we said before the broadcast. Brinus needs to do. They need to take the crowd out of the game early, get a good start, and hopefully this gets some confidence back uh, for them going forward. As Falk is waved out of the circle, he's replaced by Forsberg, but Westfalt is able to win it back to Kilstrom. Kilstrom now from center will fire this one into the opposite corner. Galvanti trying to play it back to the neutral ice. He will. No further than center, however, as Brinus work it right back in. Gustafsson pokes it to Galvanti, up to the blue line. Now Forsberg playing this one to Folk. Stopping up. Playing this one to Lundquist. Taking off the puck and Kilstrom will send this one cross ice. Galvanti at center will slap it back in and that was a very close possible too many men on the ice there for Brinus. As you could hear some of the Luleo fans reacting to that one. Daniel Sondell now playing this one to his defensive partner who plays it up the ice. Back to center, however, and collected by Sondell in his own zone. Through the neutral ice now into the offensive zone. Hits the trailer, Selen. Selen making moves from the slot, and he's going to draw a penalty here as Selen. It looks like he was hooked. And so we'll get our first man advantage of the game, and it'll go in favor of Lulio. A big chance for Lulio here to, to tie up the game as, as Bokefist is going to go here. Yeah, they kept the puck in the, in the zone, and he outweighted him and, and got the call. I think that... Luvio's going to at least have to get some shots on goal here and get a little confidence back. They've only, yeah. only had one shot on goal so far here in this game. As we see there, more than 12 minutes elapsed here in the first period. Just one shot on net. Brinus with just four as well. So not a whole lot of offensive production so far between both these teams. Miss shots 2-1 to one in favor of Luleo. Not an extremely physical game at the moment. Three hits for Luleo, two for Brinus. And face-offs 4-2 in favor of Brinus as well. So with just six face-offs, there's been uh, a lot of constant action as well. There hasn't been a lot of stoppages. No, a lot of forecheck, a lot of dumping the puck in and, and cycling around the boards. And um, yeah, there you can see in the other game, Lynn Schoeping has taken a quick early 2-0 lead over the defending champions, Hopi Hutiets. Absolutely, and uh, Lynn Schoeping especially, just like Brinus, has been on a bit of a slide to finish the regular season. And obviously, it's not something you want to do 
to finish the regular season. You know, you want to go into the playoffs with confidence on a bit of a streak, but both these teams, Brinus and Lynn Shoping, were struggling late in the regular season. Faceoff coming to the left now of Rodeo as Luleo will get their first man advantage of the game. In the regular season, their man advantage produced 19% of the time, which was good for eighth overall in the league. On the other side of the ice, Brinus' penalty kill. Sundell with the shot from the line, and he scores. Daniel Sundell right off the faceoff beats Rodeo five hole, and we've got ourselves a 1 1 game. Four seconds elapsed in the man advantage, and that's all it took. That is not the start to the game that David Rautio wanted to have today. He's come in with a, with a little bit of a tough run of games here, and, and that one just beat him right through the five hole. And <laughs> funnily, uh, funny enough, just before that goal happened, I was about to say Brinus' penalty kill, which was the best penalty kill in the league in the regular season at 87% efficiency. Most important penalty killer on the ice, your goalie. Not really much of a screen even there. That one just beat him five hole. And yeah, that one just beat him fair and square and it just trickled over the line as well as he got a good chunk of it But just not enough as Daniel Sondell gets his first of the playoffs Interesting, interesting to see how how Brinus responds here. That's that's a tough way for them to start giving up a power play goal after just four seconds out there Yeah, absolutely. It's not what you want Mickelson controlling now through the neutral ice. He'll gain center into the offensive zone along the left side. Mickelson trying to cut to the front of the net. However, it's poked away from him. Jensen hustling over to the corner. Kevin Clark now along the half boards. Getting some help now from Ryan Gunderson as he'll throw it back behind the net. For Tilson to Gunderson. Gunderson. That one taken back by Lulio as they'll play back into their own zone. Sondell now controlling through the neutral ice. And back to the blue line as Sondell will collect once again in his own zone. Oh, Lawson. The captain in his own zone will play this to his defenseman in the corner. As Mickelson turns away from his man and will retreat behind the net. The crowd back into this one here in Lulio as well now. The tying goal. Longquist playing this one back to Mickelson. Slowly up the ice as he'll fire this one into the neutral ice. However, Brinas work it back the other way. Into the offensive zone now is Bloomquist with the long shot. And Gustafson able to take that one right in the chest and holds on for the stoppage with 7.39 remaining here in the first frame. And there you see it barely even crosses the line. Yeah, he just didn't quite squeeze the pads tight enough there. And almost looks like there's a piece of ice sticking up behind that line as well as it stopped pretty suddenly. <laughs> Well, it's going to be interesting to see as well on the Lulio side how Philip Gustafsson responds as well. Like you said, the first goal not really his fault, but still 19-year-old goalie making his playoff debut here with Lulio, and uh, he's going to want to get back into it really quickly here as well. Well, that's the thing, especially for goaltenders. If they don't face a whole lot of shots early on, they can kind of get a little bit cold. I know most goaltenders would prefer to face more shots than less. So, And both these goaltenders really haven't faced a whole lot so far as Lulio scored on just their second shot of the game. Absolutely, David. As this one gets lifted out to neutralize and all the way back into the Brina's end, Kilstrom from his own half boards will send this up to the blue line, intercepted by Mikkels, or rather, Lundestrom. And now falling over in front of his own net, Kilstrom will recover for him, who gets sent hard into the end boards there as Kilstrom's slow to get up. Devastating hit there behind the boards. As Boquist will play this one into the far corner, Seal unable to collect. He'll play this one to Engsund. Now Manuelson collecting that neutral in neutralized, poked away from him, but now carried into the offensive zone. Now you can just feel it's a bit of a different game here since Lulio tied it up. They've got a little bit of the momentum back now, and Rena seems to be on the back foot here. Manuelson back to the line. Sondell, the goal scorer, fakes the shot. will play it in deep all the way around the boards. In the opposite half boards pinching down low now is Mickelson, who will play it behind the net. Now in the corner, Andreas Falk taking off the puck. And he's dragged to the ice at the blue line as Lulio able to hold it in, but now Brinus will force it back out to neutral ice. Controlling now in his own zone, he'll retreat back. Andreas Falk almost left the puck behind there. This one finds its way to the blue line and now out to center. Brinus back into the offensive zone, just out of the reach of Clark, however, as this is going to be an icing call going against Brinus with 5.54 remaining here in the first frame. And like you said, certainly not the way Raudio wanted to start this one. And here we see highlights from the regular season between these two teams.
Yeah, Brinus actually had the best of them in the regular season. They, they had some, some real offensive production in December. They had back-to-back -back games against Lulio, which they won. But tonight they look a little bit stagnant on offense here early on. And like you said, back in December, Brinus, yes, had two huge games against Lulio. The home-and-home -home series ended up 6-0 and 6-1 in favor of Brinus in those two games. As that shot from the line finds its way on target. Gustafson with the glove save, and we've got a penalty upcoming. It looks like it's going to go to Patrick Sellen as Brinus will get their first man advantage of the evening. Yeah, you see the hook there. Easy call for the referee to make. And now Brinus will head to the power play. Brinus's power play, 19% efficiency on the season. Good for 10th overall. Penalty kill was just 79% for Lulio on the season, which was 10th overall in the league. Faceoff coming to the left of Gustafson. Lundqvist, the captain, lining up to take the faceoff. Clean win back. From the half boards, he'll play this one back to the line as Brinus gets set up. Lundqvist now, or rather Eikonen. Eikonen centering out front for Bloomquist as he sends that one wide of the net. Bolquist now controlling along the half boards. Bolquist playing this one down low. Back to Bolquist along the half boards. To his captain who lets the shot go. That one whistles up high. Eikonen hustling to catch up to this one in the corners. He pokes it up to the half boards. And now Lulio will send it the length of the ice to kill some time here on the man advantage. A good start from Brinus on the power play. They get it set up in the zone pretty easy and work the puck around for a couple of good chances there. Able to control now is Fabricius in his own corner. Taken off the puck, however, bit of a scramble play here is collected by Brinus as he tries to send that one to the slot. And now we've got a big slash right there. And we've got another penalty upcoming here to Lulio. So Brinus is going to get a five on three man advantage here as Johan Haru delivers a heavy slash to the stick. And this is a huge advantage for Brinus. Haru's complaining here, but I mean, he really, really, although going after the puck, took a big hack here on the stick. You can't really argue against that. Oh, knocked it right out of his hands. Easy call for the referee to make, and what a chance here for Brinus. 70 second five on three here for Brinus. So, Thomas Berglund, the coach of Lulio, trying to calm down the troops here. It's a five on three. And you can hear the Lulio fans reacting there as the captain will be waved out of the circle, replaced now by Oland. Clean win back for Lulio, which is exactly what they needed to start this one, as this will be sent the length of the ice. What an important part of the game face-offs become when it comes to the playoffs. Absolutely, especially in a situation like this on a five-on-three opportunity. Clean face-off win for Lulio there was very important. From the slot, lets the shot go. That one hits a body, deflects to the corner. Collected now by the captain, Bloomquist. Playing this one back to the line to Gunderson as Barinas gets set up. Back to Bloomquist. Bloomquist winds up, lets the shot go. Big rebound off the end boards collected by Kevin Clark. And that one, unfortunately for Clark, was on his back end as he had a clean look at a wide open net there off the end boards. Now from the top of the circle, he'll play this one back to the line to Gunderson. Gunderson lets the shot go. Good blocker save there by Gustafson. From the half boards now, Clark will play this back to the line, held in by Gunderson, who plays it back to Clark. Clark, cross ice pass to the top of the circle. Back to Clark, back door, and that one, I believe, hits Yalen's stick out front as he denies Clark a great shooting opportunity as Brinas continues to control in the offensive zone from the dot. Let's the shot go. That one finds its way over the net. As it looked like a couple of Brinas players that they're sticking in the air there, almost celebrating a goal, but that one finds its way up and over for a stoppage with 13 seconds remaining in the five on three. A couple of nice blocker saves there earlier by Gustafsson. And, and that one especially point. as that was bound for the back of the net. And that's the difference right there. Gustafsson really doing his part to help save this five on three power play. And like we said earlier, the most important penalty killer is the goalie. And on the Brina side of things, it was a quick goal allowed. But on the Luvio side of things, Gustafsson looks strong so far tonight. Face off to his right here. As Lulio able to control off the faceoff, it's Yolvanti as he'll play this to the line, but not out. Gunderson playing this one down low. Gustafson will stop it up for Mickelson, who will fire this one down the ice, and that'll do it for the five on three penalty. We'll have another 50 seconds of five on four for bringing us here, however, with under three and a half minutes to go in the first frame. Boy, David, what a critical 40 seconds here. Absolutely, and I was, uh, like you said, great penalty kill from Lulio, but Gustafson with a couple of beautiful blocker saves there that, especially that last one that we saw the replay of, could have easily made this game 2-1. to one. Controlling now, Boquist will play this one up along the right side, backing into the offensive zone. He gets drilled from behind, and that is an irresponsible play right there. That is going to get you a penalty every single time. It's a tough one to understand right there. You've just killed off the, the first of two penalties on a five on three, and you go and take a stupid penalty like that. It's very, 
take a look at it again here. Oh, and driving Nielsen straight head first in the board. Another easy call for the referee to make here. I, I think Henrik Berglund is going to be, or Thomas Berglund, my, my apologies, is going to be really, he's talking to the ref, but he needs to talk to his troops here about a little bit of discipline in a playoff game. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, two, three feet off the boards like that, you just know you can't hit a player in the numbers. As that is an easy call for the refs every single time. And thankfully, Nielsen didn't look like he hit the boards too hard, but... Because hits like that can result in some pretty bad injuries. Tommy Houdin, the Brinas coach, getting things set up for the five on three. And what a critical last three minutes here. And now off the faceoff, it's controlled and carried behind the net now. As this one is played back to Eikonen. Yusuf Eikonen back to the line to Falth. Falth over to his captain. Down low. Got Olin set up out front looking for a redirect. Back to Bloomquist with the shot and a great right pad save there by Gustafson. Rebound all the way back to the blue line. Held in, however. Back to five on four. Bloomquist from the slot lets the shot go. That one whistles up high. Controlled by Eichen and now along the end boards. We're back to five on four for the next 90 seconds. Back to the line now to Fulf. Fulf will play this down to the half boards. Eichen in. Now back to Fulf at the line. Fulf trying to play it to his captain. Gets it back and now Eichen will play this one into the corner. Olin will ring it around to the far corner and collect it there by Boquist. Boquist coming back up to the half boards. Now to the top of the circle. Boquist playing this one over to Fulth. As Fulth will control, he'll f carry this one down low. Gets himself in deep, plays it to Eikonen. Eikonen now back to Fulth. Fulth from the top of the circle looking for the shot. Now the redirect out front and Oland on the doorstep couldn't pull it to the forehand. However, Eikonen still controlling from the dot. Eikonen lets the shot go looking for the top corner, but that one ripped up high. Held in at the line by Boquist now as he'll play, as he'll carry this one down low over to Bloomquist who fans on that one, but held in at the line by Fulth. Fulth with the heavy shot, big rebound out front. Eikonen couldn't control it as it came a little too hard off his skate. A big chance to make a, a change there for Lulio. The defenders did a, a great job there blood blocking the lanes and Keeping the score 1-1. Boy, what a big penalty kill so far here for Lulio. 28 seconds remaining in the man advantage as Lulio are able to send this one the length of the ice once again. And now Grandstrom will play this one to the far corner. Gets it back now as he's turned around hard into the boards. And now Lulio with a shorthanded opportunity. It's Robin Kovacs coming to the front of the net. Backhanded opportunity right on. And Larson is stymied by Raudio as we've got a penalty upcoming here to Brinus. And so some special teams action here late in the first period. Nine seconds remaining on the Brina's power play, and so we'll get a very brief four-on-four -four period before Lulio will go back to the man advantage for the second time. What a turning point, David. I mean, three penalties, two five-on-threes, and it ends up being Lulio coming down on a breakaway and drawing the penalty here. And that's the thing. Typically on a penalty kill, obviously, you want to just kill as much as possible, but creating some scoring chances shorthanded also helps the confidence. And especially killing off two five-on-threes and two regular penalties here, that's got to be a bit of a morale killer for Brinus that they weren't able to score. Well, a big momentum shift. The crowd is back into the game now, and you're going to see a minute here of power play for Lulio in, a, in, a, in nine seconds. And it's going to be imperative for Brinus if they keep him off the scoreboard here in the last minute. Battling in the corner now, four-on-four four action about to come to an end, and now he gets taken hard along the boards. Johan Haru, however, no call as the Lulio fans booing and jeering that. And now Lulio back to the man advantage. As this one is carried in by Selen, who tries to dance around his man. Green is able to take it back, however, looked like he was going to fire it down the ice, but now we've got a Lulio player in the back of the net. We'll see what happened here on the replay. Stoppage of play. Well, it's Patrick Sellen away from the play, so I didn't actually catch what had happened there as he tries to cut to the net and just gets taken down hard, holds on to the defenseman's stick and wraps himself around David Rodeo. It's the playoffs. Sometimes you grab the stick and, and throw him into the goalie just to, <laughs> just to say you're there. Exactly. No penalty resulting from the play as Lule will remain five on four for the last 43 seconds of this first period. Unless they score, of course. Face off in the neutral ice. Now collected by Manuelson as that one is taken back and sent the length of the ice. Mickelson back to collect along his own end boards. Through the neutral ice now, he'll gain center into the offensive zone. Top of the circle, drop pass for Emanuelson. Big rebound out front, Rowdio with the save. As they jam away at it on the far side there, Rowdio covers up and holds on for the stoppage with 21 seconds remaining here in the first frame. That's a big moment for Rowdio there. He makes a couple of big saves on the, on the penalty kill. 
21 seconds left here, and Brinis is, is 21 seconds away from escaping what would be a really at this point a momentum killer after having two five on threes. Absolutely, and yeah, that's obviously something Brinis is going to be probably thinking about in the intermission. The fact that they had well one very long five on three in a second that was about 25 seconds long and just were not able to capitalize. And like you said, Gustafson, best penalty killer on the ice so far for Lulio's Brinis will control now. And he'll fire this one the length of the ice with just 13 seconds remaining in the first period. Gustafson will glove that one out of the air. Not taking any chances, we'll hold on for the stoppage. Gustafson recently traded from, from Pittsburgh to Ottawa at the trade deadline. And uh, Ottawa goalie coach Pierre Guru is in town tonight in Lulio to watch the young up-and-coming rising star and he'll be pretty impressed so far after that first period and as an Ottawa native Senators fan obviously you're probably pretty happy with that as well, well I can breathe a bit easier now after watching the first period for sure David <laughs> as Lulia will control right off the face off they'll have to hustle if they want to get one last opportunity here this one will be chopped towards the net however it's going to be an icing call and so perhaps Brinus White might get one last opportunity here with a clean face off win yeah it's been a a period I'm sure neither team scripted here in, in the first, can we say. Pen uh, a lot of penalties, a little bit of, well, can we say unnecessary penalties, undisciplined play, and, and uh, both teams might feel pretty lucky to only have let in one goal here so far today. Absolutely, as this face-off taken by Lily Wall and Haru. Are you able to win this one back to Sondell? The buzzer will sound. The time will expire in 20 minutes. Is in the bag for the first game of the playoffs. 1-1 the score after 20 minutes here inside Coop Norbotten Arena. We'll take a look now at first period stats. And there you see Brinus with 11 shots on goal to Lulio's four. So obviously Lulio, that's going to be the main topic of discussion in the in the room is get more traffic towards the net. Yeah, they're going to, of course, Brinus had a lot of power plays as well, but Lulio didn't do very much. They had the one goal that really Rautio probably should have saved. And apart from that, uh, not much going on in Lulio offensive side of things. Missed shot 6-2 to two in favor of Brinus. Hits 4-3 to three in favor of Brinus. Faceoffs 12-7 in favor of Lulio. Two power play opportunities for Lulio. And technically, that was only one power play opportunity for Brinus, but it lasted about four and a half minutes. <laughs> one like should do power play time, maybe, would be a more accurate <laughs> statistic for the... Five power play shots generated by Brinus on that man advantage, and a couple of which probably would have found the back of the net had it not been, been for some nice saves from Philip Gustafson. Two power play shots from Lulio generating one power play goal, and so 100% penalty killing for Lulio and 50% power play at the moment. But... Obviously, that 100% penalty kill for Lulia in the first period is huge for them. Absolutely, and I think for Brinis, they're going to be, on the one hand, kicking themselves that they, they could have put in a few goals. On the other hand, they came into this game on the road, 1-1 after one period. They've had the play. Oh, maybe they don't feel so bad about themselves inside the dressing room right now going into the second period. I think so, I and mean, sometimes momentum plays such a factor, and you start to lose some games and get into a bad streak. But when the playoffs start, everybody starts at zero. So we'll see what happens in this second period and going forward for Brinus. And speaking of the second period, Lule will start on the man advantage with 45 seconds remaining now as this one is played to the half boards, and they'll look to start back the other way. Well, Lawson, the captain, as he'll feed it back to the end boards. Now Daniel Sondell, the goal scorer from behind his own net. Excuse me, behind his own net. Are you through the neutral ice into the offensive zone? He'll send this one cross ice as that one look out tipped hard into the stands as a good example of why you should always keep your eye on the puck even when you're in the stands. And there you go, fan going home with a souvenir. Uh, took one on the head there, but well, perhaps it was worth it in the end. We'll see here. Just going to get inspected by the medical crew there. She looks to be all right though. As this face off will come back out to the neutral ice as that came off the stick of Patrick Sellen. 27 seconds left here on the power play for Lulio, and they'll be looking to try to take advantage of these late power play they got in the first period. Kilstrom able to send this one the length of the ice to kill some extra time here late in the man advantage. As Sondell will control, he retreats behind his own net. He'll look to start out now. Sondell slowly up the ice will play this to Haru. Haru playing it over to the right side to Selen. Selen back to Haru in the corner. Haru. Aggressive penalty kill here from Brinus as they pin him against the boards. Played down low and now poked back to the end boards. Grandstrom controlling. Now we're back to five on five action. So Brinus successfully able to kill that last 49 seconds of the man advantage without allowing any opportunities to find the net. It's really, really interesting to 
see who gets the momentum from all these penalty kills. I mean, both teams could have a claim to have <laughs> gained some momentum here at the moment. Absolutely, and we had mentioned that it might have been a bit of a morale killer for Brinus not being able to score. They did manage six shots on net in that extended man advantage, however, so they were getting opportunities. They just weren't able to beat Gustafsson, who's been very good between the pipes so far. As this one will get played off the boards out to neutral ice, and now collected by Eunice Yalvanti. Yalvanti playing this one up to center to Larson. Larson from the half boards will feed this one into the corner. Gets it himself now along the end boards, gives it up to Brinus behind the net. Played off the end boards now from the corner. He'll lift this one high down the ice. Lundqvist trying to, or rather Anderson, gloving that one out of the air. And now this one is sent deep into the Brinus end. Lundestrom checked hard into the end boards there. Puck finds its way to the corner. Back up to the line now. It's the captain Bl Blomquist. However, that one gets sent back into the Brinus zone. Now Boquist will fire this one though. Down to the opposite blue line, turned right back, however. Brina's doing a great job of clogging up the, the neutral zone and not really giving Lulio much of a chance to enter with any type of steam or speed at all. Yeah, well, like you said, uh, we've seen a lot of dump and chase here, especially in the first period, and it looks to be continuing that theme here in the second. However, Lulio do get a bit set up now as that one is centered out front, but Deflects away from any Lulio player, collected by Sialin. He'll get himself in deep, now back to the line. One-timer from Emanuelson lets the shot go, and Raudio with the save. Kovacs now controlling in the corner as Lulio with some good possession here. Back to the line to Sialin. Sialin letting the long wrister go, and Raudio able to turn that one aside as well. Boquist playing this one to the far corner. Kovacs is going to get there first. Robin Kovacs controlling, back to the line to Sialin. Sialin, another long wrister. That one hits a body out front, and now collected by Granstrom as he'll fire this one down the ice. And that's more like it from Lulio. Getting the puck in, getting control, and putting pucks on net. You've got a goalie who's been a little shaky as of late. You want to get as many pucks on net as possible. Now Falk centering up front for Fabricius who tips that one wide. Bolquist ringing this one around the boards all the way up to the far blue line. Back to center and now sent right back in by Lulio. Dump and chase collected by Forsberg. Now Fabricius to Falk. Falk to Forsberg with the one-time attempt. Rowdy with the save as that rebound came off his defender. And he's able to cover up for the stoppage. But a heavy shot from Forsberg there after Falk with the nice feed. Yeah, Lulio really getting getting some more of the play now and getting a little bit stronger in the offensive zone. And a, a good save by Raudio. He seems to be gaining a little confidence here in the second period. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, the, the first goal that he gave up, obviously, could, could shake a goaltender, probably wants it back. But it's obviously the indication of a good goaltender to just put that one behind him and concentrate on the game at hand rather than dwell on what could have been. As Patrick Sellen plays this one back to the line. Bouncing puck. Oh, Lawson playing it to Haru in the corner. Johan Haru back to the line to Sondell. Sondell over to Mickelson. Mickelson from the half boards will play this to the top of the circle. Now Sellen down low for Mickelson all the way around the boards. Pinching down low is Sondell. Takes a check as that puck is freed up, played to the line. And now off the boards out to neutral ice. Into the offensive zone now is Askloff. Sharp angle attempt right on. Gustafson couldn't hold on with the glove. Askloff controlling now. Drop pass back to the line. That one is tipped out to the slot, and now Lulio able to control. They'll try to work it back the other way. However, it's taken back by Brinus. Playing this one down low all the way around the boards. Coming away with it now is Selen. Back to the line, and now out to neutral ice, all the way back into the Brinus end. Brinus doing a good job of getting the puck deep, getting turnovers in the in the Lulio end and trying to make them of something. And you, you have to think that eventually, sooner or later, they're going to get a quality chance on goal that way. Absolutely. 4,169 fans taking this one in in Coop Norbotten Arena for the first game of the playoffs. And this face off, of course, back in the Brina zone after the icing call. Good, good hockey crowd in Lulio always. They, they love their hockey up there. They've got a good team this year. I think there's a lot of, a lot of hope in Lulio that they're going to be making a deep run into the playoffs this year. We'll see. It all starts here against Brinus, of course. Big rebound out front off that shot from Larson, collected by Sondell. One thing that Rowdy is going to have to watch here is his rebound control. That's three or four shots now with a, a lot of big, juicy rebounds coming out. 
That quick turnaround shot doesn't find its way through. Hits body and deflects all the way back out to neutral ice as Lulio work it back into the offensive zone. Emanuelson, drop pass for Lundestrom. Lundestrom cutting to the slot, poked away from him. Able to recover, however, is Larson. And that's poked away from him as well as Bloomquist will move it back the other way through the neutral ice into the offensive zone. He'll send this one to the left side, shot right on. Easy blocker save there from Gustafson as this one is collected, sent back to the line. Long shot finds its way on target. Gustafson with the save. Center right up front. They score a beautiful centering pass by Bloomquist right to Johan Elsen, and he gives Brinus the 2-1 lead. Johan Elsen, the San Vican native, he's been in Brinus for a long time, and he's a, one of the heart and soul of this team, and he gets the, the pass right in front of the net and just buries it five-hole on Gustafsson. I'm not quite sure Gustafsson was ready for that puck to come back out into the slot there. That was one heck of a pass from his captain, as I don't think anybody expected that. As watch this, just a blind look pass, wraps it around the net. He's basically directly behind the net and somehow able to feed that one out front using the blade of his stick to really curve that one right to Olsen, and that is just a fantastic assist from the captain. Just a beautiful pass, and, and just like we said, Breen is getting, getting a little more speed going to the zone, getting the puck deep in the Luvio end, and, and good things happen. Absolutely. As this one is controlled by Selen, he'll play it up to Kovacs. Cross ice pass through the neutral ice, and now into the offensive zone along the left side is Emanuelson. He's taken off the puck, however, as this one is played off the boards, back out to neutral ice, and all the way back into the Lulio end. Daniel Sondel catching up with it, and this will be an icing call going against Brinus with 14.02 remaining here in the second frame. And Brinus regained the lead here in the second period. Take a look at it again, this beautiful pass using the whole length of the blade there to corral the puck and get it to the front. And you can see the Brinus bench liking that one. Absolutely. And Olsen left all, all, all alone out front as well as a bit of a defensive blunder there from Lulio. As that shot finds its way on target, big rebound out front. Falk can't bury it. And now Falk will get it back in the corner. Andreas Falk back to the line, winds up, plays it over to Mickelson. Brandon Mickelson. Playing this one all around the boards, and now Fulk controlling in the corner. Plays this one back to the line to Sondell. Sondell back to Fulk. Can't get the shot on target as Brinus will recover and works it back the other way. It's Jesper Boquist playing this one in deep. We'll see what answer Lulio has here. They, they answered the first goal. Let's see if they can answer the second one here. Mickelson from behind his own net now. Slowing things down. Pass up to center ice, hits Falk as he'll play it into the offensive zone. And it just seems that Lulio can't get really much started going into the Brina zone right now. They they just don't seem to have that kind of, well, I don't know if it's if it's chemistry, but they just can't quite break that neutral zone trap from Brinus. Now a Lawson drop pass for Haru with the shot. That hits a body out front, deflects to the half boards. Lundquist pinching down low, will poke this one to the end boards. And there we see another perfect example. They get one shot away, Brinus takes it back and moves it back out to the neutral ice. And so, they did have some good possession there in the first few minutes of this second frame of, in the offensive zone, but other than that, Brinus has done a very good job shutting them down on the back check. I think you make a great point there. The defense doing a great job of clearing away rebounds, not allowing any second chances, and, and that's key right now for, for Brinus. Walking right out front, good poke check there from Gustafson breaks up that opportunity. Yalvanti you know, now taking off the puck. Bouncing up in the air, Yalvanti hustling to catch up to it. He'll send it to the corner. Now up to the half boards. Lulio with a bit of time and space will move it back the other way. Haru pressured off the puck, however, as he leaves it behind at center. Selen will play this back to his defenseman as Yalvanti will throw this cross ice to Lundqvist. Young Niels Lundqvist playing it up to Patrick Selen at center ice, who will fire this one in deep. From the half boards now, back to the line, held in by Ingsund. Einar Emanuelsson. Down low for Lundestrom. Lundestrom. As this puck finds its way back out to neutral ice off of Brina's stick. Once again, they're in the zone, but not getting really much in the way of scoring opportunities here for Lulio. Now Larson lets the shot go from the slot. Broken stick. Emanuelson controlling. Pinned against the boards now, getting some help from Lundestrom. Lundestrom along the half boards now. Still battling there, getting some help from Emanuelson as four players trying to fish this off the boards. Emanuelson able to move it to Larson now. Emil Larson trying to walk to the front of the net, poked away from him. Now centered out front, taken back by Bloomquist. The captain will work it back the other way through the neutral ice into the offensive zone along the right side. He'll send this one in deep softly. Jonathan Granstrom in the corner to Bloomquist. Bloomquist back to the line. 
Gunderson. And now Bloomquist with the shot from the slot. Hits a body, doesn't find its way on target. Two on two, back the other way. Gains center, fires this one in deep. Big rebound off the end boards. Collected there by Radio as he just pokes it to the corner. Emanuelson now battling, can't hold on to it. It's Bertilson in the corner. We'll play this one up to Boquist. Now Boquist moving it back the other way. Through the neutral ice, he'll play this one in deep. Robin Kovacs in the corner. Now from the half boards, he'll play this one up the ice. Through the neutral ice, he'll gain center, but he isn't able to send it deep into the Brenas zone. Taken back by the Brenas defender. And now this one will be given up to Forsberg with a lo long, sharp angle shot. Now Kovacs able to control. He'll play this for Forsberg, who rings it around the boards over to Mickelson. Mickelson back to the line to Lundqvist. Lundqvist out front for Larson, it looked like. Now back to the line. That shot finds its way off a of body. And Forsberg couldn't corral that rebound. I think Rubio needs to get more pucks on net right now. You can see good things are happening almost every time the puck is going towards Rautio in there. And they are getting pucks towards the net, but Breen is doing a good job blocking them before they get there. And so Rautio not having to do as much work as Lulio probably hoped, would hope. No, that's an excellent point. There's a lot of block shots right now for Breen as a defense doing a great job of getting in front of everything headed towards Rautio. All the way around the boards, collected along the half boards. Now from the blue line, this one will get sent in deep. Galvanti in his own zone, out to neutral ice. We'll play this one up to Haru. Haru to Selen with the shot. That one ripped up high. Selen against his man, battling there hard. Now from the half boards, this one gets played down low. Here comes Kevin Clark here. Look at the speed. And now. Attempt from out front, finds its way behind the net. Sjallin to the half boards, back to the line, held in by Bertilsen. Can't get the good shot away, it's collected by Kovacs. Kovacs from behind the net will play this one to the corner. Lundqvist has that one poked away from him, back to the blue line, now back out to center ice. Long shoot in, just wide of the net, collected along the half boards. Back to the line now, Gunderson, quick pass over to Grandstrom. Grandstrom looking back door with the shot. That one just goes wide. He might regret that one later. That was a great chance from the side of the net there. And now this one will be played over the glass off a stick and we'll have a stoppage and we'll take a look now at some stats. And there you see Lulio definitely getting a lot more opportunities as the first period ended with just four shots for them. So nine shots already here in the second period for Lulio. Brinus managing just four shots so far in this second frame as they finish the first with 11. Missed shots seven to four in favor of Brinus. Hits are five apiece. Faceoffs 14 to 11 in favor of Lulio. Two power play opportunities for Lulio, generating two power play shots, generating one power play goal. And technically just one power play for Brinus, but they generated five shots on that very extended power play opportunity. Take a look at the other game going on in the league, and it is the exact same score as Lynn Chopin holds on to that 2-1 lead over HV71 inside Ken Arps Arena. Well, yeah, Lulio's had a lot more shots this period, but you get the feeling Brinus has had a little bit more of the, the explosive scoring chances coming back the other way, and, and um, yeah, it's only a matter of time here. It looks at the moment until, until they can add another one. They've been all over Lulio on this counterattack. Absolutely. Coming down the ice. And now it does look like they took a delay of game penalty as that puck was sent over the ice untouched. And so Brinus will get another man advantage here in the second period. And this one will be one back to the line. Heavy shot right on, steered aside by Gustafson and now collected by Fabricius who will play this one out to center ice. Collected now by Boquist who plays, or now Bo collected by Boquist in the neutral ice, playing it back to his defenseman. A lot of people expecting a big playoffs here from Boquist as now turnover for Barisius shorthanded. Got himself in a little too tight, however, not much to shoot out there, shoot at there as Raudio just holding title against that close post. And now gloved out of the air by Forsberg with a shorthanded opportunity. Raudio with a right pad save. And so Lulio have managed two shots on already shorthanded on this Brinus man advantage. And now they continue to control as Falk will throw this one back to his defenseman. He really couldn't ask for a better start to the penalty kill here for Lulio. And now tripped up behind the net. No call on the play, centered out front. And I think that one probably could have been called a trip there behind the net, but Lulio perhaps getting away with one. Perhaps uh, another five on three for Brinus wasn't so uh, appealing to the referee there. 
Jensen back to the line. Gunderson. That one doesn't find its way on target. Lulio able to control as this one will be played up to the line, but not out. Kevin Clark holding it in. Lulio fans hollering for a penalty. They won't get it. Jensen now. Cross ice, poke back to the line. This will be an offside call going against Brinas with exactly seven minutes remaining here in the second period and 28 seconds remaining on the man advantage. How good penalty so far for Lulio. They've had two, two big chances coming their own way. Here's, here's the second of those chances right here. You see Rautio had to be in a good position there to make the pad save. And you're right, David, that, that, <laughs> that really could have been a call there for tripping, but the ref decided to let that one go as we got seven minutes to go here in the second period. Clean face-off win for Lulio, controlled in their own zone, and this will be sent the length of the ice to kill some extra time, just 22 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Rodeo gets a poke from Forsberg behind the net, but is able to move it to Gunderson, who will carry it back the other way. Through the neutral ice, that one over the stick of Ikonen, and now collected by Oland. Oland playing this one back to Gunderson. Cross ice to Ikonen. Long shot, finds its way wide of the target. Back to five on five action now. Is that one sent right out front on the doorstep as Ikonen is denied by Gustafsson with a great save. Oh, what a save by Gustafsson here. And that's, oh, inches away from a 3-1 lead for Brinas. And that is a huge save by the young netminder. Gets across and keeps those pads tight together. Holland with the sharp backhand centering Ooh. pass. And then Ikonen right on the doorstep. All alone out there in front of the net. and. He'll be cursing himself for missing that one. This one finds its way back to the line. Long shot hits a body out front. Sjallen deflects it to the corner. Collected now by Engsen. Engsen over to Sjallen. Sjallen up through the neutral ice. Are you couldn't control as Gunderson controls in his own zone now. He'll play this one up to center. Icing is waved off as that one is tipped into the offensive zone. Heavy check along the corner boards there as this puck finds its way to the end boards. Captain Nicholas Lawson will play it to the corner. Coming away with it now, he'll play this one back into the corner. Two bodies trying to fight this one off the boards. Finds his way to the circle, now back to the line to Gunderson. Taken back by Olawson. Not only there against West Westfall. Askloff now playing this one down low. Now centered out front, just out of the reach of everybody. As it comes all the way back into the Brina's end with 5.20 remaining here in the second period, they'll turn it back the other way. Into the offensive zone, Kevin Clark, cross ice pass to the top of the circle, takes it off his skate and plays this one in deep. Clark throws his body against the boards, but can't hold it out, or hold it in rather, as this one finds its way in deep now. Sondell controlling in his own corner, will retreat back behind his net, now plays it to Engson. Oscar Ingson up through the neutral ice, tipped into the off offensive zone there by Larson. Lulio hanging on here. They've, they've really not had control of the play here for a good period of time in the second period. They are definitely looking a little bit back on their heels at the moment as Breen is certainly the better team so far in this game. And that one goal for Lulio, of course, probably a bit lucky that it found the back of the net against David Raudio, who Probably should have made the save, but now Lundestrom controls from the high slot. That shot blocked out front. Now Mickelson will play this down low for Larson. Larson from the corner to Lundestrom. Larson collects from the high slot, lets the shot go, rips that one up high. Lundestrom controlling in the corner. Or rather, Emanuelson. And now looking for the backdoor pass, sneaking in was Brendan Mickelson just out of his reach, however. Mickelson now controlling along the half boards. Quick turnaround, shot finds its way over, and that one looked like it was going up and over David Raudio, but it just drops wide of the net. Back to the line, one-time attempt. That one hits a body up front as Jensen gets in front of that one. Lifted high down the ice as Sondell controls the bouncing puck now. And both teams getting a partial change going here. Sondell will play this softly into the Brina zone. Not enough for icing as Boquist takes a check along the boards from Kovacs, but is able to move it all the way around to the far blue line, held in by Lundqvist, who lets the shot go. Looking for Kovacs out front as Kovacs will play this back to the line of Yalvanti. That one hits a stick wide of the net. Emanuelson centering out front for Kovacs, but not able to get that one through. A couple of men out front. And now Lulu controlling as this one will get sent back to the line. One time attempt wide of the net. Kovacs will control in the corner now as Lulu doing a good job retaining possession here as that 
short side sharp angle shot finds its way to Rowdio and he'll hold on for the stoppage with 320 remaining here in the second frame. Look at this one again here. And, and that one might have been going up and over him had he not gotten a piece of it right there. Yep. Great save by Rowdio there. Just a quick reaction save to get a piece of it with his glove. But you got to think, David, how, how many shots are being blocked in and not getting through to the net for Lulio here. The Brinus forwards in defense are doing a great job of getting the body in front of the puck. And that shot finds its way on target back to the line. Another shot hits a body out front, but you're right. Brinus is doing a fantastic job collapsing in front of their own net and just kind of shutting down the whole slot area to not let any pucks get through. They're also pulling some Lulio players into the mix as well, which helps get more bodies in front of the net. And Right now, Lulio is throwing everything at the net, and only about half of the shots are probably getting through. Yeah, of course, a lot of, a lot of people thinking that Brinus didn't have much of a chance here with the way that they entered the postseason, but Thomas Berglund this morning, Lulio coach, was, was very clear that, that he respected the, the Brinus team that made the final last year and tried to send that message to his players, and you can see why now. They've come out the better team tonight, for sure. Absolutely, as Brinus controlling in their own zone. Andreas Folk along the half boards takes it back and now Forsberg will play it in deep. Coming away with it is Johan Haru. Back to the line. Long shot finds its way wide. Now from the corner to the half boards, Selen. Playing this one into the corner to himself as he gets it back and he'll play it back to the line to Sondell. Back to Selen. Selen controlling, making moves, just holding that one in as he'll feed it over to Sondell. Selen able to hold it in at the line. One-time attempt from Mickelson. Rebound up front, and that one is banged home. And I believe it's Nicholas Alasson, the captain. Or no, it's Johan Haru, I believe. Able to finish it off on the rebound. And we've got ourselves a 2-2 game with 2.17 remaining in the second period. Oh, and Brina just could not get the puck out of the zone there. They, they, they had the chance. They missed it, and Lulio took over. You knew that one of these rebounds that Raudio has been giving up quite frequently tonight was going to be the difference, and there it is. And there you see a smart play by Haru as well. Doesn't just try to bang at it with the backhand. Just takes his takes half a second to lift it up and over. Great, great point, David. Growled the puck, was patient. He knew he had Raudio down. And it's 2-2 here. And boy, Lulio has been outplayed for vast parts of the second period. But here we are, 2-2. Well, they've been outplayed for vast parts, but the, basically the start of this period and now the end, they've had a, a couple bouts of, of really good sustained pressure and possession where their Brinus just seems to have struggled to get out of their own zone. And obviously, Lulio taking advantage of that here late in the second. And now perhaps a little bit of life here from Lulio in the second period, late in the second period, as Gunderson in the corner is able to play this one behind the net to Bertilson. Or Tilson up the ice, and now this one's carried back the other way into the offensive zone. Tried to feed it to his teammate who wasn't there, went for a change. As Lulia will control in their own zone now, turn it back the other way. Lundestrom through the neutral ice into the offensive zone, making moves. Lundestrom still with possession of the puck as he goes coast to coast, centering out front. Manuelson can't bang that one home past Rowdio. Now from the corner, Emanuelson plays this one back to the line. Sialin with the shot, that one lifted up and over the net. Gunderson playing this one all the way around the boards and back down into the Lulio end as Sjallen quickly over to Engsen. Engsen from his own blue line from center. He'll fire this one in deep. Hustling in is Forsberg. He's first to arrive at the puck. However, he's one on three. Now gets some help. Forsberg still pinning this against the end boards. Getting a little chippy down there below. And that is one thing that... We haven't seen a whole lot in this game is is a whole lot of emotion as both these teams seem to be very calm and collected especially after the whistle and we haven't seen really any kind of scrums in front of the net which typically with playoff hockey emotions running high you will will get some oh, well, there you go. never mind right on cue <laughs> <laughs> no it's true and uh, I would expect that's coming pretty soon as the game gets in the later stages both teams at the start of the game feeling each other out there's the, the tying goal and the crowd certainly back into it here in Lulio. Absolutely. Face off to the right of Rowdio. Olasen taking the face off. Against Jonathan Grants from clean wing back. Mickelson to Sondell with the one time attempt. Right pan save by Rowdio. Up through the neutral ice and all the way back into the Lulio end. Mickelson controlling now from behind his own net. 
as he gets taken down in the corner, getting some help from his captain, who will play this to Zondel. Sondell lifting this one high down the ice, bounces at the blue line, trying to track it down there was Johan Haru as he takes his man down with a stick. No call on the play. Haru trying to collect, getting some help from Olawson. Scramble play in the circle here is six or seven players there trying to free the puck up, but this puck finds its way back into Luleo end, and now we've got some emotion coming into it as Selen getting into it now with Johan Olsen. Linesman right there to separate the two. And that's Allison's game there. He likes to mix it up, get under your skin a little bit. And maybe both teams trying to fire themselves up here going into the third period. Let's take a look now at second period stats. And there you see kind of a tale of two periods as far as shots are concerned. Lulio with 16 shots on net, and I can't even imagine how many more were blocked. I mean, it's, it really was a tale of two periods. And, and the amazing thing about this period was that, as you said, David, the first part of the second period and the last part of the second period was all Lulio. In the middle, it was quite all Brinus. Absolutely. So it'll be interesting to see how this all works out in the third or if we get some overtime. And, of course, in the playoffs, overtime is continuous five on five until somebody scores. Missed shots eight to three in favor of Lulio. Hits five to three in favor of Lulio. Face off seven to six in favor of Lulio. One power play apiece in that second period generating just one power play shot for Brinus but neither team able to capitalize on the man advantage in that second frame. Take a look at full game stats now. 20 to 17 shots on net in favor of Lulio. Missed shots 10 to nine also in favor of Lulio. Hits eight to seven. Face offs 19 to 13. Two power play opportunities. Six power play shots for Brinus. Two for Lulio. However Brinus kept off the scoreboard on the man advantage and Lulio period. The first five minutes and the last five minutes were all Lulio and the middle ten minutes were all Brinus and so it's been a very back and forth a lot of momentum shifts between these two teams so far and I think one of these teams really has to kind of jump out early here in the third period if they hope to come away with a regulation vic victory. Yeah it's going to be uh, also down to a battle of the goalies. The young Gustafsson against the veteran Rautio and uh, so far both both have had their moments in this game. Absolutely, and you had mentioned uh, 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 off the broadcast uh, that Raudio has kind of quietly put together a pretty good performance between the pipes, stopping uh, 20, 20 shots so far. Yeah, it feels like we've been kind of saying that he's a bit shaky in there, but then you look at the stats and he's made, you know, what is it, 18 of 20 saves so far. So uh, uh, he's a veteran goalie. He's played in the final in game seven last year against uh, HV71. So he, he's been here before. Absolutely as we are underway for the last 20 minutes, or perhaps not, depending on what happens in this third period. Daniel Sondell controlling as he'll throw this one cross ice out of the reach of Mickelson, who hustles over to the half boards, plays this one hot, hard off the boards, back into the Brinus end. And we'll see how the how the start goes here for, for Brinus and Lulio. The crowd into it right now. And, and these three-game series, boy, it's not like a seven-game series where you kind of feel each other out for the first game. This game is is already forcing somebody against elimination for game two. Exactly. You, you know, you lose the first game in a seven game series. It's like, OK, no big deal. We got another four games to try and bounce back. Uh, but like you said, somebody is going to be on the elimination block after tonight's game. So these three game series definitely put pressure on both teams. As Olsen plays this one and now gets it back, he'll work it to center ice. Trying to slap that one in deep, comes off a stick to flex to the corner. Yalvanti controlling in the corner now. Now we'll have a whistle. Yeah, Brinus in these short series. I mean, they're the way they're thinking right now. Boy, they they win this one, and all of a sudden they're on home ice on Wednesday, trying to go to the next round. So they've uh, uh, they've got a a real opportunity here. Two two. Not a lot of people gave them a chance coming into this one, but they've really showed up to play tonight. And they've definitely looked like a much different team than what we saw late in the regular season is they just really couldn't seem to get anything going in late in their regular season. Raudio was having a bit of a tough time between the pipes and especially ending the season on an eight to two or eight three loss against Forlunda obviously doesn't feel good, but looks like they've bounced back and have kind of given themselves a clean slate here to, to, to kind of try and start over. You see that there, Brinus really hard in on the net there. And that's going to be something to watch in the third period, trying to get bodies in front of the young Gustafsson, trying to create a little bit of havoc in there and, and try to make something happen around the Lulio goalkeeper. Falk lining up to take the face off for Lulio. Not able to win it back as Brinus controls at the line. Shot doesn't find its way through. Forced back to the blue line. Now Forsberg will work it back the other way. He'll gain center. Now the blue line along the right side, flipping this one in behind the net. Taken hard into the boards there was Boquist as he's taken off the puck. 
Oquist again. He's ranked number three of uh, the skaters in the central scouting of the NHL draft next year. And it's been a little quiet for him. We haven't seen him too much on the ice tonight. No, we haven't, but especially well in with Rosmus Dahlin, of course, expected to go first overall. Very strong Swedish content in this year's NHL entry draft. As that shot finds its way off the left pad of Gustafsson. Just really came up the ice fast on that one. Now another shot hits a body up front. Looks like Gustafsson didn't even know where that one went, but it comes up and over the meshing. Another young player playing in this one is Niels Lundqvist. Where's number three for Luleo? Came up about halfway through the season, and he's also projected to go in the first round. And that's uh, that's what I love about the SHL as well is. Uh, the NHL, of course, doesn't have any 17-year-olds, as you do have to be 18 to play, but you get a, lot of, a look at a lot of young talent here in the SHL that are probably going to be the stars of tomorrow in the NHL. Absolutely. And always interesting for, for NHL teams to be in attendance. Lots of scouts here tonight and, and uh, trying to see who the next, the next big name coming from Sweden. And much like the World Juniors, you know, a good performance here in the playoffs in the SHL can really raise your stock towards the draft. Absolutely. As Brinus will work it back the other way. Sent over to Lundqvist. And 17 year old will throw this one up to his own blue line. Drop back to his defensive partner who throws this one up along the left side. Bertilson into his own zone. Collecting and cutting to the corner. Poked away from him, however, collected behind the net. Now sent to the corner. Jensen back to the line. Long shot by Sjallen hits a body out front. Now Bertilson playing this one off the boards up to the neutral or up to the half boards and now cross ice pass into the offensive zone just on side there. Kevin Clark controlling as that shot hits a body to flex to the opposite side. Now Kovacs back into his own zone will play this behind the net. Up to center and taken back by Kilstrom as he'll throw this to Gunderson. Now Olsen into the offensive zone along the right side taken off the puck as Lulio take it back and work it back the other way. Look out as that was a dangerous looking hit there. And this is going to be offside, I believe. But my goodness, just getting away with one there. It looked like he was kind of going for the head there. I have to watch the replay on that one, but that looked like a dangerous. It just looked like a product of circumstance, honestly, as he goes down and just blows a tire and that can be a dangerous hit. He didn't make contact with the head, but Jonas Berglund could have easily hit his head against the ice very hard there, but he looks to be okay. Now well, emotions starting to run a little high here. Third period, 2-2, two -two, fairly even shots on goal and not much separating these two teams right now. Not a whole lot, that is for sure. Is Like you mentioned, pretty much evenly matched through all stat categories and both goaltenders as well have been uh, and playing well between the pipes. As Lulio controls in their own zone, Forsberg will feed this one cross ice up to center ice. Bouncing puck now collected by Oland. Oland at the blue line. It's mixed up there with the linesman. Back to the line, and this one will come out as the linesman will whistle it dead on the offside with about three and a half minutes elapsed here in the third period. Well, it's been a bit of a slow start here to the third period. There hasn't been many quality scoring chances. You get the feeling both teams playing a little bit safe here to start the third period, knowing that one mistake either way could really could really cost them here at this late stage of the game. And it'll get more that way as we go along here, for sure, in the third period. Absolutely. As this puck finds its way right on target, Gustafson easily able to steer that one aside. Lundqvist throwing this one up to his own half boards, comes off a glove and now collected. Shot right on from the top of the circle. Gustafson, good positioning at the top of the crease, holds on for the stoppage. And that's one thing I think Gustafson has done better than Raudio so far this game is rebound control. As Gustafson uh, hasn't given up a whole lot of big, juicy rebounds. When he does, he usually angles them to the end boards or to the corner, but uh, he's done a good job taking those chest shots especially and holding on. Yeah, so important for a goalie to make sure they're in position and not give up rebounds like that. And you see on that one there, a lot of goalies could have been surprised by that quick shot, but Gustafsson was out there cutting the angle off. And, and that's, why, uh, well, that's why he's only allowed two goals so far tonight. And what could have been, uh, with all those power plays, it could have been worse for sure. And Gustafsson not taking any chances here will freeze that one along the side of the net. But yeah, especially in the first period, I think Gustafsson had the best best period he's had in this game with those long extended power plays for Brinus making some crucial saves as Brinus could have kind of opened this one up had they taken advantage of those man advantages. 
Yeah, it was an interesting start to uh, to start Gustafsson as well. He didn't get as many starts as Lasanati during the regular season, but Rubio deciding to go with Gustafsson uh, tonight, and it's so far paid off. Showing showing confidence in the young goaltender. Absolutely. As Bloomquist turns it back the other way, taken off the puck, and Sondel will throw this to his defensive partner, who skates it up the ice. He'll gain center, fires this one right on target. Heavy shot from center ice, but Bertilson collects from Raudio. As Bertilson will lift this one down the ice into the Luleo end, taken back by Sondel, who throws it up to center. Feels like Alcien has been involved in everything tonight. For, he's for he's, he's been, been all over the ice. Now into the offensive zone. As Kovacs turned to the half boards, he'll play it in deep. Now Oland controls. Playing this one up to Boquist. Out of his reach as Lundquist plays it back to center. And now Fabricius into the offensive zone. Taken off the puck there by a nice hit. Forsberg trying to center out front. Falk controlling behind the net. Taken off the puck there by Eikonen, however, as this one finds its way back to center. No further as Lundquist will wind up, lets the shot long shot go. And I believe this is going to be an offside against Lulio. Just moving into the offensive zone just a little bit too early. So less than 15 minutes to play here in the third frame. 2-2, the score remains. Yeah, really good job by Schilstrom down low there for, for Brinas. Him and Nicholas Fouts have been great tonight in, in really stopping any speed coming into the zone from the Luvio forwards. Always separate the body from the puck, as they say, if you're a defender. Absolutely, as Westfault lines up against Haru. Haru, who's had himself a good night in the circle, wins another one. As this puck finds its way deep into the corner, Patrick Sellen takes a check and moves it along the end boards. Johan Haru now in the corner. And Olafson gets sent hard into the boards from behind. No call on the play as the referee's arm stays down. Johan Haru trying to walk this one out. Front wraparound attempt. Back to the top of the circle. Heavy shot. That one hits a body out front. Bouncing puck in the high slot area. Finds its way deep now as Olafson gets taken down hard and he goes hard into the boards once again as Olawson has been on the receiving end of a couple of hard hits into the boards back to the back to his free feet plays it to Siel and Siel and Fanny on the shot attempt and now Brinus will work it back the other way all alone into the offensive zone here as he gets taken out hard against the boards as that frees up the puck for Larson Larson playing this one off the boards to the blue line gloved out of the air and now collected by Bertilson who will throw this one to the far corner to his defensive partner who sends this one cross ice into the offensive zone is Westfault as he'll throw this one in deep. Starting to feel like playoff hockey here. We're getting some some physical play on both ends of the ice and the intensity certainly ratcheted up a level here in the third period. Absolutely and we had a chance to catch the last few minutes of the HV Lynn Shoping game after we signed off in the second period and that game also looking very physical. As emotions tend to run very high here in the playoffs even early on especially with a three game series. Every goal is so important as Brendan Mickelson controls from behind his own net. Nicholson looking to start out now. He's turned back by Blomquist. He'll play it over to the far corner. Lundquist can't hold on to it as he'll play it into the corner for his captain. Now Grandstrom playing it back to the line. As that puck finds a stick and deflects to the corner. We got lucky there to get the puck out of the zone. They were really struggling there for a, for a little while and always seems like those are the ones that lead to goals when you, you just can't quite get it out of your zone. Andreas Falk into the offensive zone now. Walking this one down low, trying to cut to the front of the net, poked away from him. He takes a check, but controlling now is Larson. Throwing this one cross ice. Falk will control in the corner. Falk out front for Emanuelson. Peter Emanuelson walking behind the net. Elects to try the wrap around. Puck is still loose at the side of the net. Referee will blow the whistle now. And we'll have a stoppage with 12.23 remaining here in the third frame. The ref must have had a, a better vantage point than us because it didn't look like the puck was loose. So let's get a better look at it now. See Rautio get that pad and blocker stacked against the post there. And there it is loose. So a good non-whistle there by the referee, but then Rautio does cover up. Yeah, no real danger there. Good job by Rautio. He held this post strong. And yeah, you've really seen his confidence grow here as the game's gone on. Faceoff coming to his right, clean win back to the line. Engson just even no, he's not. This is going to be an offside. That one looked like it was held in from this perspective, but yeah, it's an interesting call there. And there you see the Lulio fans reacting as well. Let's see if we can get a look at that one on the replay, but uh, let's see here. Good call. Yeah, great call. 
just coming outside the line. Of course, when it's your team, you always think that, <laughs> that the inch went the other way. But exactly. Not the case there. It's the beauty of instant replay. Bert Tilson controlling now. So he'll find center, fires this one in deep. Ooh, and a hard check against the inboards there by Jensen. Popped his head right up, but he seems to be all right. Cross ice pass. Good hand eye coordination as he knocks that one out of the air. Johan Haru has that one poked away from him, getting some help from his captain who throws this one in deep. Selling from the corner now. We'll play this one. Oh, weird off the stanchion. Rebound right out front, and that one sent right on by Olasen as Lulio getting a bit of a lucky bounce off the stanchion there right out front to the captain Olasen. Now Sondell from the line lets the shot go. That one hits a body out front, and it's collected by Clark, who will move it back the other way. Jensen, and now Westfault, back to Jensen. That's why you always got to be ready. You never know how that puck's going to cream off the boards there. And Rautio and the defense for Brinas had to be pretty sharp there to, to stop a good scoring chance. Behind the net now, controlled by Sondell. Up to his own blue line. He'll fire this one in deep. All the way around the boards, and now... Played up to the half boards. Kilstrom takes a hit up high. Emanuelson able to collect at the bottom of the circle. Emanuelson centering out front all the way back into the neutral ice and all the way back into the Alulio zone as Yalvanti collects in his own end. Quickly back up the ice, however, to Mickelson. Now from the half boards, he'll fire this one down to the far blue line. Yalvanti takes it back and sends it back to center and now into the Barina zone. Gunderson, find that one to or Tilson, but taken back at center by Lulio. Emanuelson turning away from his man, poked away from him, however, now. Getting some help, though. And now Emanuelson into the offensive zone. We'll try to feed that one to the circle. Not able to, however, as Brinas takes it back in their own zone. Playing this one off the boards, and now Ingsen will throw this one cross ice to his defensive partner. We'll send it back to the other side. This one will get swept in deep. All the way around the boards, not able to hold it in is Sjallen. Plays this to Ingsen. We're already done half of the third period here. Not a lot of stoppages. This has been a very quick game so far, in fact. As, like you said, not a whole lot of stoppages. A lot of back and forth action. A lot of dump and chase. A lot of neutralized play as well in this game so far. As both teams have uh, had their... Had some good... Uh, Good defense going along that blue line as that puck finds its way off the side of the net. Barina is able to come away with it in the corner now as Oland will lift this one down the air through the neutral ice. Collected at the blue line by Falk as he sends this one in into the offensive zone. Is Fabricius with the shot right on. Steered aside by the blocker of Raudio. Fabricius able to get it back along the end board. Centering out front. Wouldn't, wasn't able to get it on target. Fabricius still with possession of the puck as he gets rubbed off the puck into hard into the boards as this one will be played up towards the blue line and Bloomquist will play back to center. And Mickelson controlling in his own zone now. That's a different David Rautio back there. He looks very strong in that good blocker save there and uh, keeping his team in this one right now. Patrick Sellen through the neutral ice plays this one to the slot. Battling there. Backhanded opportunity. Can't get, to get it through a mess of bodies out front as Bertilson will play this one off the boards. Kevin Clark with speed into the offensive zone. Battling to get this one back. Taken off the puck however as Haru will play this to Lundqvist. Lundqvist through the neutral ice. He'll gain center. Sends this one in deep for Sellen to pursue. Sellen in the corner against Bertilson. Sellen able to come away with it. Now, Lundestrom. Back to the line, not able to hold that one in. As Lulio will send this back to their own blue line and now retreat back into their own zone with 8.33 remaining here in the third period. Still looking for a go-ahead goal. The, the pace and the, and the intensity is certainly up now. This is playoff hockey. We got an end-to-end action here. Luvio really pressing here, trying to get the go-ahead goal. Into the corner now along the end boards. Heavy check thrown. Yeah, good job by Brinius picking up the puck there in the, in the back end by Bokvist and moving it out to safety. From behind his own net, Gustafsson. Now cross ice pass finds its way to Emanuelson. Emanuelson into the offensive zone, poked away from him. Barinas working it back the other way as Mickelson will control in his own zone. It's been quite a few minutes without a stoppage here as well as both these teams putting together some consistent 
And constant hockey action. Now we'll have a stoppage. I believe this will be an offside going against Lulio with 7.36 remaining here in the third frame. You really see one of the big differences here has been these long outlet passes that uh, Lulio has been able to be successful with in this period. It seems like it's end-to-end -end right now. They pick it up and send it right back down the ice and keep the pressure on. Shots on goal, 24 to 20 in favor of Lulio at the moment. Missed shots, 10, 11 in favor of Barinas. Hits 12 to 7. As the physicality has kind of picked up as this game has gone on, face-offs 26-17 in favor of Lulio. Two power play opportunities apiece. Six power play shots for Brinus, two for Lulio, and Lulio the only team to capitalize on their man advantages so far. Taking a look now at the other game going on, and Lin Shoping continuing to lead that one by a score of 2-1 to one against HV71. We'll make sure to keep you updated as that game gets closer to, to a conclusion. And, of course, you're always welcome to head on over to shl.se if you want to check it out for yourself as well. Well, we got a few minutes left here in this game, about seven, and it's going to be interesting to see. It's been mostly Lulio who's been driving the play so far in this third period, and that's sometimes a, <laughs> a bad omen when you haven't scored for the whole period. Absolutely, and... We'll see if Brinus is able to kind of turn things around here in the latter half of the third period as Kilstrom from center. Has that puck taken away from him, sent into the Brinus end. And I believe this is going to be an icing call going against Lulio, so Brinus will have a face off in the offensive zone. It's a good start for them to get a to get an offensive zone face off, try to win that and get a little bit of pressure on these uh, on Lulio. As I said, they've been really, really good at stretching the ice and making these lead passes, and I, they seem to have found a little a little weakness here in the Brinus game. Good face-off win there. This one will get fed into the corner. Sjallin taking his man out of the play as this puck finds its way back to the half boards. Jensen trying to fish it off the boards. Able to now. However, Lulio able to take it back in their own zone. Forsberg back the other way now. Into the offensive zone. Draw pass for Falk. Falk with the long shot. Rings it off the side of the post. And that was a heavy shot that found iron. It looked like it kind of handcuffed Rautio there. He kind of a little below his glove there, a little difficult to get a read on it in Ooh, the post. And now right out front trying to feed it for out front to Clark. Olsen probably should have tried his luck there with a shot, but tried to be a little bit too fancy sending it to Clark. As Brinus respond with a scoring opportunity of their own right after a great one for Lulio. Now the action heating up here with six minutes to go. Both teams knowing that the next goal could could very well be a decider at any point now. Lundqvist centering out front, back to the top of the circle, a shot right on by Bertilsen. And Gustafsson takes that one right in the crest and holds on for a stoppage with 6.26 remaining here in the third frame. And there you see, it doesn't come off the post, it comes off the mask of Raudio. Oh, you pay for all the equipment, you may as well use it. And there's a great chance for Greenish down the other end of the ice. Olsen hollering for a penalty there. As Kevin Clark was taken down in front of the net. But a good point you made there, Bogustason. You see on this end of the ice, no rebound coming out. Very calm, smothering the puck, and that could be a big thing coming down the stretch here. Yuso Ikenen trying to cut right out front. Taken out along the side of the net, however, as Emanuelsen works it back the other way. Einer Emanuelsen gets taken down, no call on the play. And that would just be big for either team, is a power play at this moment right now. Could be a huge opportunity. So both teams probably trying to stay as responsible as possible as Lundestrom cuts behind the net. Trying to center out front on the backhand. Olawson couldn't get a shot away. And now Bertilson slowly back the other way. He'll gain center, fires it in deep. Stopping it up behind the net is Gustafsson. Sjallin playing this one up the ice as it's sent back behind the net. Back the other way now, intercepted by Barinas. As this one will be played off the boards. And now... Trying to move it into the offensive zone. Lilywalt battling along the boards there against Emanuelsen. All the way back into the Brinus end now. Schilstrom has it there, so they'll try to get out of the out of their zone. And now taken out hard is Forsberg, but Falk is able to get the puck back and Forsberg right back to his feet. Looks to be all right. Sondell with the one-time attempt, kind of fanned on that one as Forsberg able to collect along the end boards. Get some help now from Falk. Andreas Falk trying to feed that one out front. Hits a body and deflects back the other way as Brinus work it back into the offensive zone. Jesper Jensen has to catch up with this one. Sharp angle little attempt up and over the net as Patrick Sellen controls. All alone into the offensive zone is Sellen. Sellen. Cutting back towards the corner, taken off the puck, and Burst Tilson will control as he'll play this one up to the blue line. 
from center now. He'll fire this one in deep all the way around the boards. Now Sandstrom. As this one finds its way back into the Luleo zone. From the circle, Olsen will send this one back to the line, just able to hold that one in. Now Kilstrom. Long shot to flex right on, and Gustafson with the save as he'll hold on for the stoppage and once again gobbles that one up and no rebound given up. Great save. Look, it might have been deflected there on the way in as well. Take a look at it again. Yep. Takes a rebound off of Grandstrom's stick, it looks like, out front. Great positioning and a great save. And you see this on the other end. Oof. Forsberg. Bit of a slew foot there, but seemed to be all right. Green is controlling right off the faceoff. Quick turnaround shot, hits a body. Trying to send that one back to the line, not able to, as Lulio will work it back the other way. Cross ice pass into the offensive zone, top of the circle, shot right on, and Raudio with the casual looking glove save will hold on for the stoppage as Ingson tries to mix things up in front of the net after the whistle. And of course, line matching will be important here for the last four minutes as well. Lulio with the last switch, and uh, well, you see what the strategy is going in here. Do you go for the goal or do you try to defend until the overtime? I think it's. Uh, We'll see how aggressive each team are here towards towards going on the offensive as opposed to protecting the defensive right here. With the game, the, with the way the game's been going at this point, late in the third period, I think it's basically already overtime hockey for these teams as the next one, in my opinion, is going to win it. That's a good point, David. We haven't seen so many goals and so many opportunities. You've got to think one more is going to be pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back out here. Green is trying to work this one into the offensive zone as some neutralized battle Battling going on along the boards. Back out to neutralize once again as Emanuelson. Stepping around his man, absolutely undresses Bolquist, but just taken off. And now he's going to draw penalty. Oh and this is huge as Emanuelson absolutely undressing Bolquist. Oh, watch this little move. This is beautiful. Play. And there you see man, trips him up. And this could be. Fatal for Brinus. Not a disciplined play by Bokfist there. He was already beat. There was really no point to turn around and put your stick in his skates. I mean, yeah, the teammate uh, there to, to pick yeah. up pick up Emanuelson and just a turnaround kind of reaction play there by Bokfist. Undisciplined hockey, and we'll see if that comes back to haunt Brinus here with uh, 3.34 to go in the third period. Here we go. Is Haru not able to win this one back? Exactly what Brinus needed as they'll send this the length of the ice. One goal tonight for Lulio on the power play, so they've, they've had some chances on the power play. We'll see if they get some good quality scoring chances here as well, but Brinus again. And in the regular season, Brinus had the league's best penalty kill first overall with 87% efficiency. Now this is going to be an offside as Lawson moving in. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, Interesting here to see, like you said, the best penalty killers in the in the regular season, and well, now it's now it's on the line. It's all in the regular season, but now in the playoffs, it's time to to show why you're the best. And so far, it's been a great 30-second start here, and they get the face of outside of their zone as well. And there you saw Robin Kovacs and Patrick Selland, fifth and seventh respectively overall in the regular season when it came to game-winning goals. Brandon Mickelson controlling from his own zone will play this to Emanuelson. Emanuelson with speed into the offensive zone. He'll stop up and look to get set up as he feeds this one into the corner to his brother. Back to Lundestrom. Lundestrom, the cross ice pass over the stick of Larson, but he's able to collect now. Emil Larson playing this one over to Lundestrom. Back to Lundestrom. Lundestrom trying to feed this one down low. Good stick there. Breaks up that opportunity. Kilstrom able to come away with it, and he'll send this one the length of the ice. Bouncing puck right onto Gustafson with 52 seconds remaining on the man advantage. 224 remaining here in the third period. They seem to be able to get set up in the zone, but no quality scoring chances. And 45 seconds left here. They're, they're going to have to get something going here against this greenest penalty kill. Now Haru playing this one down into the corner. This one will get rung around the boards all the way to the blue line, able to hold it in. He'll fire this one into the corner. Hard check thrown. Another hard check is Patrick Sellen able to move this puck. Now back to the line to Sondell. Sondell has the one goal, and that one tipped just wide. Looked like it came off the stick out front. 
Now from the corner, this one to Selen. Back to the circle as they get set up with 10 seconds remaining. On the man advantage, back to Sondell. Sondell over to Haru. Haru winds up. Back to Sondell. Sondell from the circle lets the shot go. That one wide and all the way around. And now fresh out of the box is Boquist. Fresh out of the box. He's moving in all alone and he's going to draw yeah. penalty. No, he won't. Wow, what an on-call there at that stage. I'd like to see that one again. That really looked like a hook. And Boquist. Players sitting in the box dream of moments like that. Oh. Fresh out of the box with an opportunity to move in all alone, but just gets outmatched by a couple defenders. And like you said, I'd love to see a replay because I could have sworn that should have been a penalty. And now cutting out from the back end, an opportunity saved by Gustafson with the left pad as Bok or as Jensen trying to break the tie late here in the third period. 55 seconds remaining. And now this one is fed out front to the slot. Kilstrom lets the shot go. That one whistles up high. Kovacs now from the corner. Battling hard, he'll play it to Engsen. Engsen playing this one up to Emanuelson. Emanuelson through the neutral ice, taken off the puck as Kilstrom will collect at his own blue line. Through the neutral ice, he'll gain center, fires this one in. Gustafson stops it up behind the net and gloves it out front as that one sent right on. Gustafson, and now an opportunity right up front, and Gustafson with the save, and he bangs it home on the rebound. As Brinas take the 2-3-2 two, two lead, Yuso Aikinen oh. with 28 seconds remaining in the third period. And you could just feel it coming, David. It was chance after chance after chance chance and finally Ikonen buries it home a good initial save by Gustafsson but he didn't know where the rebound was and I was going to say that initial save by oh. Gustafsson is going to be the best of the night because that was absolutely incredible right there and then Ikonen collects his own rebound and bangs it home with 28 seconds left and like you said you kind of felt that one coming as Perinus uh, right out starting with Boquist, fresh out of the box, has just been absolutely pressuring here over the last 60 seconds or so. And if you're Forsberg here, you've got to tie up your man. You see in front there, he's, he's got to go after the stick or, or try to, to neutralize him, and he just couldn't get him uh, under control and really wasn't a very hard rebound to put back into the open net. No, but Eichenen doing a good job, strong on his stick there as well, as you saw Forsberg trying to lift his stick on that rebound opportunity. But just wasn't able to keep that stick off the ice. And Eichenen with a strong move to collect his own rebound. And for some reason, they ran the time off the clock here. But we do have 28.8 seconds remaining. And Gustafson will start on the bench. So Lulia will have six men out on the ice. Well, it all started with that penalty kill for Greenis. And the momentum just shifted immediately. Face-off win here for Brinus would be crucial, but they're not going to get it as Patrick Sellen will work in the offensive zone. Centering that one out front, Kilstrom able to come away with it as he'll play this one back to the line. Bouncing puck finds his way all the way back into the Luleo end. Olasen plays this one into his own bench, which means this will be a face-off in the Luleo end, and this is a break for Brinus because they will have to put Gustafson back between the pipes. Yeah, really. Or do you? <laughs> or do you? Really, really a tough break there for, for Lulio as well as the, the puck going around the boards got a little bit caught in the referee's skates there, and the defenseman couldn't really see it as it came out of the zone. But what a what a turn of events here, boy. Lulio. And what a great game to start the playoffs. Absolutely. My goodness. Yeah, you couldn't ask for more for a playoff hockey game here. Face off to the left of Gustafson, who is back between his pipes. 14 seconds remaining. A draw here. Clean face-off win for Brinas. Do they retreat back into their own zone? I, that's what I would do if I were them, but uh, what a pivotal moment here. Grants from able to win this one back, and now he'll get it along the boards. He's just going to try and freeze it. And now this one given up right out front. Patrick Sellen able to collect. They will have to hustle. Four seconds remaining. Three, two, get the shot away. And he doesn't do it in time as he gets absolutely leveled. Oh, boy. Emil Larson, and I couldn't quite catch who the Brinas player was there, but he goes down hard, and it's Jonathan Granstrom just seeming in to try and take that shot opportunity away. And that's exactly what he did, but unfortunately, he kind of paid the price there. But Brinas, with just 28 seconds remaining, courtesy Yuso Aikinen, come away with the 3-2 win in Game 1. And now, like you had said previously, they go back to home ice advantage with the opportunity to eliminate Lulio. They really stole one there. Boy, it looked, you know, Lulio on the power play with about three minutes to go in the third period. And all of a sudden, Boakvist gets sprung out of the box and goes in alone on uh, Gustafsson. And from that point on, it was just all Lulio. 
Uh, all Breen is. Yeah, absolutely. And they had three or maybe even four opportunities in, in about 30 or 45 seconds and finish off by Yuso Aikinen. Third period stats, eight shots on goal for Breen is six for Lulio. Missed shots, two apiece. Lulio with five hits to Brinas is none in that third period. Faceoffs 11 to 9 in favor of Brinas. One power play opportunity for Lulio. And that right there is probably going to be something they're going to be thinking about later tonight when their head hits the pillow is the fact that they weren't able to capitalize on a late man advantage. No, absolutely. And in the playoffs, when you when you have those three minutes to go and you get a power play, you've got to take advantage of that. And they weren't really able to get any anything going on that power play either. But like we, like we had mentioned, Brinas with the best penalty kill in the regular season, and you saw why here tonight and especially that late one from Lulio was a huge penalty kill for Brinas which gave them momentum and probably result that momentum probably resulted in that game winning goal shots on goal for through three periods 26 25 in favor of Lulio miss shots 12 11 hits 13 to 7 face offs 28 24 but right just looking at that what jumps out is all stats fairly evenly matched yeah, it was a, a really even game, and I, I think it's uh, in the playoffs sometimes you get this, that, that two teams, one definitely the favorite going in, but both teams really, really showed up tonight and fought to the bitter end there.